Hi everyone, I'm Tammy from SiteMate. Inspection and test plans are critical for ensuring quality in construction projects, but poor documentation can lead to costly delays, quality issues and disputes. With DashPivot, you can capture detailed inspection data, attach photos and test reports, and streamline approval suit signatures digitally, saving time and ensuring that every step is properly documented. Let's take a look. In DashPivot, you can create an ITP template entirely from scratch or choose from a public template library, which offers many ready-to-use templates. Let's just run a search at the top here for ITP, and you will see different types of ITPs available for different job types. The search result will also depend on the filters you have for your specific industry, role and function. You can preview any of the ITP format before you add to your workspace and remember that everything that you see here is fully customizable once added. Editing the template format in DashPivot is easy. We have a user-friendly drag and drop system for the template builder, allowing you to format your template to best suit your organization's needs. There are many different types of fields available for you to choose from, and you can rearrange any of the fields within the builder as you see fit. You can also implement logic for approval signature fields, as you can see the little symbol here. This is so that you can specify who can sign off at different stages, and this feature provides you with greater control over your own documents. For example, this first signature field here only allows the person that's created the ITP to sign off, while the second one only allows people that have specific permission type or higher. Once the template is in your account, you can start filling out these plans digitally. Our standard ITP template includes fields such as the date created, who is created by and updated by, various text fields for project information, we also have pre-filled section for the keys and abbreviation, and then the multiple ITP tables for different steps and sections. These tables has pre-filled text boxes to outline the standards and acceptance criteria, and then we also have the sign-off for the company and the contractors. Under each table, there's additional comment section, which of course you can add more notes there. And then towards the end, we have the final sign off for the person that has prepared the ITP and for the reviewer and approver. Once saved, whether the form is completely done or not, it will be organized in stages like this. This is what we call a workflow template, which progresses a form through various stages with automatic notifications to alert relevant parties. For example, we can set up this second column here to alert the approvers or the managers so that they inform that the ITP is ready for them to review. Forms advance to the next workflow stage through the approval signature fields which we saw towards the end here. So as an example, if I'm the one that have created the ITP, I will sign this off and the form is now moved to the approval column. And once the approver or the manager goes in and approve this, this will then be moved to the final stage. All forms are automatically compiled into a register like this. Information within the forms can be viewed in a table format. You'll notice that some of the fields have filters available at the top for you to look for specific forms. And then you can also export this data as CSV or PDF. Photos are essential for inspection test plans because they provide clear visual evidence of the work completed compliance with quality standards and any defects or issues that need addressing. These can be found within the forms if you have a photo field in the template and in the photos tab within your team folders. Photo tags can be created and applied for easy filtering when looking for specific images and GPS locations can also be captured when photos are taken through the mobile app with location enabled. ITPs can be created and submitted using our Dash Pivot mobile app. The forms are organized in a workflow just like on the web access. You can continue working on any existing plans or create a new one using that plus button. Photos can be taken directly on the app or you can choose to upload images from your device gallery. Once taken or uploaded, they can be marked up to highlight details within the app. And if you have created tags as you saw on the web version earlier, they can also be applied during this stage for easy searching later on. Back in the ITP form, once completed and you need to share a copy of the plan to external parties or other people right away, you don't have to go back to your computer to export it. 
Instead, you can send this as a PDF file via an email directly from the app. The app works offline and is available on both iOS and Android devices, making this process even more accessible for all personnel involved. Dash Pivot can be used for many other use cases and data can be synced to external tools such as SharePoint, Excel, Power BI, etc. using our integration product FlowSite. With this, you can seamlessly transfer your ITP's data from Dash Pivot to preferred data storage or any other tools. You can try Dash Pivot for ITPs today using our sign up link and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.